Well, if you've ever wondered what it was like to live like a celebrity, well, then you'd have Thalia's life every day. <laughs> I know I have wondered what it's like. <laughs> you can learn about it right now. Gloria Rodriguez is live in the newsroom to explain. Gloria. That's right, Thalia and Gino. The rumored home of Leonardo DiCaprio is now up for rent, but you do have to dish out some dough to stay there. The home sold for about $5.2 million last year, and now it's on a home rental website. This iconic home is located in the Las Palmas community in Palm Springs. Famed architect Donald Wexler designed the house for Dinah Shore in 1964. My mama done told me. The 7,000 square foot home is now rumored to be owned by the Wolf of Wall Street, Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh my God. And you too can stay here. The website 432 Hermosa lists the home for rent starting at $4,500 a night. You can almost reach up and, and touch the mountains. Michael McLean, the owner of McLean Company Rentals, says there's a big demand for these types of property rentals. Palm Springs is, you know, it's not a secret. It's on the upsurge. It's a lot of the branding that the city has done. Coachella Fest, Stagecoach, Splash House, all these events that are reintroducing Palm Springs to the millennials. Because uh, that's how Palm Springs was discovered way back when. So it's like we're going through another transition. One of the properties McLean manages is Colony 29. These are three guest houses here. Each one has their own little name. You see, this is Villa Amalfi. Renting this property will cost you from $4,500 a night to $10,000 a night, depending on the date. Another feature to this exclusive property is what's called the Zeus Grotto. That's where we're in right now. And it's called that because of this fireplace right here. And take a look over here. You'll also see what's an outdoor soaking tub. It's very private here. And that's not all that this property features. The furniture that we see is custom built to replicate the period. So it's like we're in a time machine and we're coming back to 1929 and we're two blocks from downtown. It's incredible. Some reports say that vacation rentals boosted our economy by $7 million last year, so home rentals here in the Valley are definitely big business.